guys welcome back to my channel my name is Abongile Ngoliya I am a computer science and a business computing student at UCT I'm a first year and with this channel I'm just sharing my experience with that and I'm helping others um, on how to become a better student than me I hope you guys enjoy my previous videos I hope you also enjoy this one because I'll be spilling the tea yeah, basically this video is a continuation of last week's video where I was talking about um, how to actually get into computer science at UCT. But then I realized that with this video is not necessarily a continuation because this video is actually for somebody who's already inside computer science or who just wants to know what happens as a first day at UCT as a computer science student. So, um, yeah. So, I'll be basically sharing what we did in first semester and second semester. I'll be talking about the different languages we learned. I'll be talking about the different IDEs that we used, um, the recommended textbook, the workload, and most importantly, my advice on how to actually be better um, or to, to, so that I can put you in a better position than me. Yeah, I guess I could say that. So yeah, let's get into, let's really get into it now, where I'll, I'll explain in details what happened in first semester and what happened in second semester. So for those who don't know, in varsity, right? <laughs> so in varsity, um, years, um, our year is divided into two. We have first semester and second semester, both contain um, probably four months or yeah, four months. Let's just say four months. Both of them are approximately four months. So they're 12 weeks each. So 12 weeks is like um, four, eight, 12, or three, three months each. Yay, three months? Okay, I think it's four, four months, but it's 12 weeks of work, right? Yeah, it's actually four months because it's 12 weeks of learning and two weeks of like writing. So it's actually four months, yeah. Okay, cut that. Okay, so I finally figured out it's actually four months of learning and writing. Yeah, so let's get into first semester, what we actually did. So I'll start with the languages that we learned. So we only learned one language, which was Python. So in Python, we were first introduced to the basics of programming. So we were told how to print the very famous statement, which everyone, when they start learning a new language, they print, which was hello world. We were obviously also taught how to get input from the user and to how to display that on the screen, which is the output. Um, we were also taught um, basic operations like and numbers and operations such as um, your plus, your minus, division, and your like different types of numbers. We have the float, we have a, um, what else? We have a float, we have a double, we have an integer, like those type of numbers. And we moved on to more complex topics like your strings, arrays, iterations, recursions, files, and many others. But in total, we learned 12 things. We learned 12 things. Um, we learned 12 topics each week. Um, it's a different topic. So um, yeah, it was quite a lot. So how we actually went about learning them was that we were watching pre-recorded videos. So they're pre-recorded in such a way that you can rewind, you can pause, you can play again, you can watch another time. So every Monday they were at 8 a.m. I think they were released so that you can watch them however you like. Some people finished them in one day, some people took them two, two days to actually finish them. So it depended on your pace and how you actually want to learn um, the content. But my advice was for you to actually learn them as fast as you can because obviously the assignments that we were going to be given, the weekly assignments that we were given were based on the content that um, you learned that week. So yeah, you had to learn them very fast. So there was no recommended textbooks that were given. We we're not given any um, textbooks. Um, I did not use any textbooks. My main source of information was obviously the internet and YouTube. But um, there was a document that was given to us um, that was written in Python. It, it really did explain concepts in Python, but obviously YouTube did the best. But what I would actually do is I would like search the topic, try to find it more about it, and then 
I'll try to work from there. Yeah, so we were not given any textbooks. We had to just research on our own and also read that document from um, that it was given to us, which was written by them, yeah. The recommended IDE or the IDE that we're told to use was Wing 101, right? So which in my humble opinion is the best IDE for beginners because here, you it actually forces you to familiarize with the concepts with the code itself because you are manually typing out the words instead of having extension i believe that our uh, wing 101 is good for beginners like us or like you but if you feel like you now advance you're good for the road you're okay with this you can switch up to a vs code and the other ide is more advanced but i know vs code so you can switch to that one Okay, so now we are moving on to workload. So we had a total of four tasks that we need to complete. Our first task was the weekly quizzes. So the weekly quizzes were based on content that we, that we did in that week. So in those videos that I talked about, yes, you will be, there were questions based on those videos. There were like a total of five questions that we needed to do two marks each. So the total was 10 marks yeah you really needed though to actually um go through the content because the marks of your of those quizzes they do make up your class mark and your dp so you needed to do well in those weekly quizzes so the second type the second task was the weekly assignments <sighs> do you know what the danger is do you know where the danger is the danger is by the weekly assignments sometimes um the no 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 sometimes most of the time most of the time actually the way the 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 questions that are in the assignments were not really based on the content that were in the videos like in the videos they will teach the most basic thing about that topic like like they will teach you how to print this but in the weekly quizzes they will ask you to hey like they will ask you many different things it's still on the same topic but it's actually very complicated now so yeah it it was kind of difficult for us to actually um do those weekly assignments but nonetheless guys please ensure that you actually do complete those weekly assignments because they do make most of your class mark and your dp they do contribute to your dp so please ensure that you really do your best try to do your best ask for help there is help hot seats the practicals ask your friends your peers yeah you can actually do it but you needed to do those weekly assignments oh i did not explain the fact that you the assignments were released on sunday and needed on friday so yeah you had approximately seven days <laughs> which you think is a lot of time it's not it's not actually because guys those assignments were just too much and you had other courses to think about right but i'm not complaining but i am no i am complaining though and then the third task that we needed to do was the practicals now the practicals this is where they make sure that you really understand what you're doing so at uh, the practicals this is where they test you it's like a code test it's like a code test you'll be given a question for 45 minutes you need to figure out the algorithm behind that question and also you needed to um um to write the code in that 45 minutes and then you submit it to automaka and you know the issue with automaka in my previous video i told you about yeah so the practicals this is where um they really test you if you understood because the assignments you can actually ask for help or you can cheat but with the practicals you are there alone with the question you need to see if you really understand the the concepts that are being taught yeah the practicals so the fourth task that you need to complete were the theory tests so you had two theory tests in that semester so you had theory, theory test one and theory test two so with theory test one it was based on like content that you did for the first four weeks i think and then the other one were based on the last four weeks that you did or the the weeks after the first four weeks <laughs> yeah um yeah so this is way yeah it's a test guys come on it's a theory test you had to learn the theory even inside the theory you had to code yeah so it's a theory test and it it was out of 25 multiple choice sometimes but you needed to learn that that one was the killer then the last 
assignment sorry the last task that you need to complete was obviously the exam the exam is held at the end of the semester so this is where they ask questions about everything that you've done that year so how to actually prepare for the exam i'll give you tips when i make that video so now i'm moving on to um my favorite part which is the advices yeah so <laughs> this is my favorite part because it's like i'm speaking to myself and i'm also helping others to you know do better <laughs> yeah so the first advice is try before you ask for help it is better to write a code with so many bugs than not write a code at all because how are you going to learn because i believe in learning through mistakes even with this youtube channel i get to learn through my i will i'll be a better coder because i learn through my mistakes right so um please try before you ask for help it is better to have code with errors than not have code at all so try before you ask for help and i also want to tell you guys that in comsci it is normal there are so many loses than wins and it's easier for you to hate Comsci than to love it but it all depends on your mentality right it all depends on your mentality like i am literally not the best coder i am barely passing this course let me be honest with you i am barely passing this course but it, it does not discourage me that much because i know that i'll be good one day you know, i know that i'm putting in the work i know that it i know my learning style i know that i'm still a learner i know that it takes me like billions of times tries before i actually get something but i'm gonna get it at the end of the day and i'll never and, and I'll, I'll never give up you know so the mentality guys it needs to change you never the best like you can you can never start high you have to start low so the mentality needs to be always positive there are so many losers than wins trust me i've failed so many things in comsci but um i'm still standing and i'm still passing because of the mentality right so change your mentality we're in, in second semester now we're in second semester so in second semester we did um csc 1016 so this is where we learned the language java java is the most difficult language in the world because <laughs> i was also browsing through the internet some of the best coders out there people who are working at microsoft people who are working at google they also struggled with this language i feel like it's not my fault that i'm not grasping this <laughs> concept ah, no it's the language's fault but i yeah it's difficult i feel like also the thing that makes it difficult is there is no order <laughs> like our course convener is just no offense but you're the worst <laughs> she is not the best she is not literally the best yeah so it's the organization for me organization yeah it's the order for me it's not it's not it's not doing <laughs> so java was actually divided into three so we had um java part one part two and part three so with part one we were introduced to uh, basics of java but also whatever you learned in python it was actually transferred to java but in more details i uh, saw in java in java in java language right so whatever you learned in java it was transferred in java language yeah so like your files your recursions your arrays your strings it was also in java now that was in java part one then moved on to java part two this is where i felt like we were introduced to java this is where we were introduced to java because we learned things like polymorphism inheritance and also encapsulation so these are like the three things that make up java actually i forgot what they called the big the three these three things what they called then we also went to um java part three which we learned interfaces and generics yeah guys so that's how it was actually the work was actually divided now it was different um with java and python there were no recordings because um covid really appeal is too many <laughs> so we went back to live classes which were the worst by the way i prefer videos than live lectures live lectures literally make you feel so dumb and useless but that's a that's a video that's another video for another day <laughs> literally yeah so that's how the work was divided when it comes to csc 1016 
luckily since everything was just going we had a textbook so the textbook was absolute java yeah the textbook explained concepts because literally what they did in class is they were explaining the textbook they were just reading so you were like okay there's nothing i'm learning new here let me just go read the textbook instead so yeah the textbook really did explain the concepts in very in very good details right so, yeah so absolute java was the textbook that we were rec we were um recommended now let's move on to my advice now listen and listen to me carefully with the advice that i'm gonna give you is try to make friends in java yo try to make friends in your class literally you will need them like try to socialize with the peers or people who are you who are also doing the same course because you will actually need them yeah try to uh, um yeah try to have friends basically because they will explain concepts better i feel like it's more it's more understandable if you concept is explained by somebody who ever who's of the same age as you and who's also do, doing the same thing yeah so try to um have friends and it's still the same advice try before you actually ask for help try before you ask for help because it's better to have a code with bugs than to not have code at okay guys so this is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video because i explained i feel like i explained thoroughly um what actually goes into first semester and second semester what languages we learned the books that we did the ide that we used um the textbooks that we were recommended everything 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 so i hope you guys have um have learned something with this video and i hope to see you on the next one if you have any questions uh please put them in the comment section i almost said i almost forgot to say please subscribe to my channel we are in a road to 300 subscribers which i'm so excited guys i did not expect i did not anticipate this like i actually thought it was gonna be a slow growth but it's an exponential growth which i'm so grateful and super i'm um, grateful for it yeah I hope to see you on the next video. Bye, guys.